Like a good book, maps can tell a story beyond navigation from point A to point B. Any information that includes a geographical location can easily be mapped. Mapping software can show a uh, picture of data analysis results for interpretation, uh, pictorial dimension to sales data, a visual grouping of data, or specific locations highlighted on a map. One simple map software is Batch Geo. The free version of Batch Geo limits the data to 250 records per map. Simply type in your browser, https colon slash slash batchgeo.com. Now Batch Geo's main page is the interface to copy and paste geo data used to create these maps. The tabs contain information on the software's features, pricing for advanced use, an app for mobile devices, community support, and a blog. Copy and paste your geo data from Excel, tables and web pages, or databases into Batch Geo under the heading Paste your location data below to map it. Now in this example we will use data downloaded into an Excel spreadsheet from the City of Austin website containing the park name, address, service district, district manager name, and total acreage of the park. Batch Geo includes a sample spreadsheet that may be downloaded from their website to use as a template. Copy and paste the spreadsheet data into the box under the heading Paste your location data below to map it. Press either the Validate and Set Options button or Map Now. The Validate and Set Options button gives options for five geographical variables and one grouping variable. The default is set at address, city, state, and zip code. The Map Now button is the basic default settings for a map. The data downloaded from the City of Austin contains more than 250 parks. Now for this example, the first 250 records are chosen by pressing the OK button. If your data is larger than 250 records and cannot be narrowed down, the free software version is not a good option, unless you would like to group your data and create more than one map. Batch Geo does offer a premium software for a monthly fee. This version is great for larger mapping and for frequent use. The Validate and Set options was selected to review what data will be used for the map and what information will be displayed on the map. In this example, the basic options default was not changed. The Service District was selected as the group for the map. Under Advanced Options, the park name was selected from the drop-down menu. All other options were left as the defaults. URLs, emails, line calculations, images, map views, and cluster for high density are choices that are available under advanced options. Now the stop geocoder button can be pressed anytime during the map compilation process to stop the creation of the map. After the data has been compiled, the map preview will show you the map. Notice that only 247 records were used to generate the map. Note three of the locations were not found in blue text is a hyperlink to look at the location addresses that cannot be mapped. The addresses may be corrected or deleted. For this example, they were ignored. The group selection from the initial validate and set options is displayed at the bottom of the map. The group selections available are viewed by clicking in the small downward arrow nest to the group name in the gray box. Selecting each one will show how the markers of each part changes color according to the grouping. In this example, the three choices from the data are Service District, District Manager, and Acres of Land. The grouping selections will become part of the final map. If these three group selections are not desired, go back to the Validate and Set Options screen to make changes. If no grouping is desired, then all of the markers will be the same color. If everything in the map preview is good, press the Save and Continue button to create the final map. The map is generated without correcting the addresses from the warning note in the preview. However, an error message was generated. These three locations were not included in the final map due to an error in the address. 
Batch Geo uses Google Maps to generate their maps. These three addresses could not be found in Google Maps. Typing the first address that was listed in the message into Google shows that Google cannot find the location on a map. Batch Geo will generate the note and location message based from Google Map results. Name the map in the title box. For this example, the title is Austin Parks. Add a description to the map. The description will be part of the final map and appear at the bottom of the map under the grouping bar. Add your email to receive and retrieve your map. Select either the public or unlisted radio button. An unlisted map will require a link to be sent to all viewers of the map. Agree to batch geo terms and press the Save Map button. The map is now saved and an email was sent to the email provided in the previous step. Press the OK button to see your map. Click on any balloon icon to see the information regarding that mapping point. The data from the final validation is displayed. The groups that are available as a selection are shown in blue text. The map can be viewed by zooming out. The map can also be zoomed in for greater detail surrounding the points of data. The map view will change the background of your map to a street map presentation. Click the map button in the upper right hand corner of your map and select terrain for this view. The view of your map can also be changed to satellite by clicking the satellite button in the upper right hand corner of the map. Select Labels by clicking in the box and the map will be labeled. Unselecting labels will only show the terrain, balloon markers, and the marker boxes. The orange person icon located in the upper left hand corner of the map under the plus and minus signs will bring up a selected location on your map to the street view. Hover your mouse over the person and drag to the point in your map you want to see a street view. Under the orange person is a small box containing that street view. After the view is selected, the street view will have two large white arrow tops that allow moving the view in different directions. To get back to the map, press the arrow on the upper left of the screen in front of the address box. The Find My Location uses the IP address, or GPS, to map where you are in relation to the location points on your map. Press the compass icon next to the Reset Map button designated by a round arrow. The grouping may be changed in the final map by hovering over the gray box and clicking one of the sections from the list. The map is now grouped by District Manager and the balloon markers have changed to the corresponding color in the legend. The email you receive from Batch Geo will contain the link to your map, the link to edit your map, and the link to embed your map in a website. These links are the only way to access your map. And after a period of time, Batch Geo will send an email to you to renew your map, otherwise it will be deleted from their storage. If you need help, go to the Support tab at the top of the Batch Geo website and scroll to find an answer to your question. Use the search bar to type in your question, email Batch Geo, or ask the community of Batch Geo users. Thank you.